to canned tomatoes um, amongst a million other things. I also need to do applesauce and we have green beans that need taken care of and the list goes on and on. It's an amazing race. It's like a 50 yard dash from now until fall to get everything ready. But it's really exciting and the food just comes piling into the house and we try to take care of it as fast as we can so that we can go gather up more. Um, so anyway, today I'm doing tomatoes and if you've seen my applesauce video, it's going to be really similar to that. It makes the most beautiful tomato sauce. Or, well, it's not, I don't, I don't boil it down and condense it all the way to the point of tomato sauce, but that's how I use it. Um, it's kind of like blended tomatoes. I like all of the consistency and I like it a little more watery, so I suppose some people would consider it just tomato juice. But either way, it's awesome. It'll make your food taste great and it's really healthy for you. So, I'll show you how we do it. My quick tip for getting tomatoes and canning them inexpensively is to buy what's called seconds. So these tomatoes here, um, they actually look pretty amazing. I don't know that I would consider them seconds, but thankfully my farmer does. They, you know, see some of the tops are yellow or they're different sizes or they're just a little misshapen or some of them have splits or they're a little too ripe. So these we get for a discount. We get this whole box, which is 28 pounds, for only $12. So that's how we make canning tomatoes affordable. I just washed the tomatoes. They're going in whole. I'm not peeling them. I'm not coring them. I'm not splitting the skins. I didn't freeze them. This is the easiest thing in the world, guys. Even like that, I did nothing to it but rinse it off. I'm going to put the lid on just so that they heat evenly and quickly. Set to medium heat. Now it's just going to sit there and cook for 20-25 minutes or so. And I'll show you what it looks like when they're ready. They're ready. You can see the skins have popped and they're cooked. Now we'll run them through the ricer and they'll be ready to can. So it's time to spoon the tomatoes in here. You can let them cool if you want to. Or you can go ahead and do them hot, just be real careful. Oh, are you making oh? jars are good and hot. They're boiling. The tomato sauce here is good and hot. The lids and the seals are good and hot. So now we're ready to go.
5,000 feet in elevation, so these tomatoes need to go for 55 minutes. That'll give me enough time to get another batch of tomatoes into the pot so I can hopefully get one more load through the canner today. Once you've pressed all the juice and pulp out, this is what you're left with. It's still got a lot of moisture in it. So then I took it and I spread it thinly onto my dehydrator tray and dehydrated it on the vegetable setting and I believe it was about 12 hours or so. And now I have... Now I have tomato chips. So one dehydrator tray with like 20 pounds of tomatoes and then I will go ahead and put it in my Vitamix and turn it into powder and I'm guessing it's going to be a couple tablespoons worth so that's going to be some pretty serious um, flavor in there. Kind of fun. The jars have sat overnight, and so now I've taken all of their rings off, checked the seals, and they're ready for storage. Yeah.